looking for a movie that's part creepy, part fascinating. Let's talk about The Omen from 1976. This film dives into a chilling tale about a couple who adopts a mysterious child, only to discover he might be more than they bargained for. But hey, stick around. We've got some funny, shocking, and sad facts about the movie coming your way, so don't touch that remote. Now, have you ever had a moment where a movie just stuck with you? Maybe it gave you goosebumps or made you question things. Share your story. We'd love to hear about your experiences with The Omen in the comments below. So, grab your popcorn and get ready for some thrills. This movie is one you won't want to miss. In the world of scary movies, few films have left a mark like the one we're talking about. It's a spooky story that sticks around, even though it's been a while since it first came out. You might have heard of it, with a story that blends religious stuff with some seriously creepy moments. Directed really well, this movie looks great and sounds even scarier. At its heart, this movie is about a parent's worst nightmare. There's this guy who plays the dad, and he's faced with a crazy idea his kid might be pure evil. Alongside him, there's this actress playing the mom, caught up in all sorts of terrifying signs and prophecies. What makes this movie stand out is how it mixes religious ideas with really scary stuff. There are some seriously shocking moments, with people meeting pretty gruesome ends. Each death scene feels carefully done, making the whole movie feel tense and spooky. But it's not just about the scares. This movie also makes you think about big questions like faith and destiny. Some folks might just see it as a scary movie, but others find deeper meanings in its exploration of religious themes. No matter how you see it, there's no denying how much this movie has influenced scary movies in general. Since it first came out, this movie has inspired a bunch of sequels that dive deeper into its world. But it's the original one that people keep coming back to, as a prime example of how to make a really scary movie that sticks with you. Whether you're a die-hard fan of scary movies or just looking for something to give you chills, this movie has it all. With its mix of religious symbols, great acting, and seriously scary moments, it's no wonder it's become a classic. So, turn down the lights, get comfy, and get ready to be scared out of your wits by this timeless classic. In the movie, David Warner appeared alongside Lawrence Connor and Mark Rosenthal, who co-wrote Star Trek VI The Undiscovered Country and Planet of the Apes. Billy Whitelaw, performing in a play, tried to back out of filming due to scheduling conflicts, but couldn't reach the production office in time. Gregory Peck's company, Melville Productions, suffered financially after the failure of Cape Fear. These experiences shed light on the challenges faced during production and the broader context of the film industry. In a rare occurrence, Gregory Peck found himself facing ferocious canines in not just one, but two films. The first was The Omen, where his character encounters a chilling fate orchestrated by a young boy. The second instance took place in The Boys from Brazil, where once again Peck's character becomes the target of savage dogs at the behest of a boy. Interestingly, Peck's relationship with director William Wyler, forged during Roman holiday, soured during the big country, leading to a prolonged estrangement. Despite reconciliation, they never collaborated again. Meanwhile, Patrick Troughton, known for his role in The Omen, was once offered the iconic role of the second Doctor in Doctor Who during his involvement in The Viking Queen. In a classic horror film from the 1970s, a certain book is mentioned correctly, unlike the common mistake people make by adding an unnecessary S to its title. Interestingly, in Spain, they prefer to call it something a bit different, in line with their language's convention. One of the stars of that film served as inspiration for the appearance of a famous comic book character in two different stories. Another actor from the same film had previously worked with someone else in a comedy, and both of them later appeared in various science fiction series. All these connections highlight the intertwined nature of the entertainment industry, where actors, directors, and even characters themselves can bridge different narratives and mediums. In the realm of film, there are actors who look back on missed chances to work with famous colleagues. Gregory Peck, for instance, often wished he could have acted alongside John Ford and Greta Garbo. On the other hand, David Warner had the opportunity to act alongside Malcolm McDowell in movies like Wing Commander and Suck, where their performances were captivating. Peck was part of eight movies nominated for the Oscar for Best Picture, and Gentleman's Agreement won. This shows how in the world of movies, there are both regrets and successes. It's a reminder that the film industry is full of opportunities taken and missed, leaving behind a lasting mark on history. 
In the realm of cinema history, there exists a tale of collaborative brilliance that birthed a chilling classic. In its inception, the creators faced challenges, but with determination, they crafted a narrative that would leave an everlasting imprint on horror aficionados. Initially met with uncertainty, the project underwent transformations, guided by the skillful hands of its editor and the intervention of a perceptive spouse. Amidst the eerie ambience of this cinematic gem, the central character almost bore a different identity. Teetering on the edge of an alternative name, the protagonist found his fate redirected towards a moniker dripping with sinister implications. This subtle alteration played a pivotal role in shaping the ominous aura that envelops the story. Critics and viewers alike were captivated by the movie's chilling atmosphere and relentless suspense. It secured its place among the pantheon of the scariest films ever made, a testament to its enduring impact on the genre. The collaborative efforts of the visionaries behind the scenes continue to inspire filmmakers, urging them to explore the darkest recesses of the human psyche. In the grand tapestry of cinematic achievements, this movie stands tall, leaving an unmistakable impression on the landscape of horror. Its haunting tale persists through generations, a constant reminder of the primal fears that dwell within us all. In crafting the omen, director Richard Donner instructed screenwriter David Seltzer to eschew overtly supernatural elements, opting for a subtler approach where deaths could be interpreted as accidents or the work of an evil force. This technique, known as death by rare accident, was later echoed in horror films like The Awakening and the Final Destination franchise. David Warner, who starred in The Omen, later gained recognition as the first actor to portray the villain Ra's al Ghul on Batman the Animated Series. Since then, other actors have taken on the role, including Ken Watanabe, Liam Neeson, and Matt Nabel. It's improbable that David Seltzer named the character Damien after Saint Damien of Molokai, who wasn't canonized until 2009. The name likely references an earlier Saint Damien martyred in 287 AD. Crafting the eerie atmosphere of the movie, Donner and his team paid close attention to every detail. They made sure everything from the spooky music to the actor's appearance added to the feeling of fear. Instead of the actor's usual blonde hair, they dyed it black to make him look scarier. They also gave him special contact lenses to make his eyes look empty and creepy. Donner convinced Gilbert Taylor, a respected cinematographer, to come out of retirement and work on the film. Taylor's expertise with lighting and shadows made the movie even more intense and atmospheric. As they filmed, Donner's vision for the movie became clear. Every scene was filled with tension and fear. Everyone working on the film brought their best, making it a scary and unforgettable story. The Omen is a scary movie that keeps audiences on the edge of their seats. It shows how working together and having a strong vision can create something amazing in filmmaking. And behind it all is the talent and dedication of Richard Donner and his team.